This is comparing the noise levels of the Bitwinkle uh, A1 Dragon Miner and the LK Tag Dragon Miner. Now, when I bought the Bitwinkle, they were telling me, well, you know, I said, why are your prices higher? And I said, well, those are better made, you know, and it doesn't seem to be the case. Um, it looks around the same. Uh, well, LK Tech this one obviously has been mining for a while and you can see the dirt being built up. But I kind of like the power supply a bit more. It is a lot larger though and Bitwinkle's one is a lot lighter. Uh, now, the main complaint is actually the noise levels. I would like to compare this, alright? So, turning it on. Now, it goes to full, well I'm not sure if this is the full, but this is already pretty loud, okay. and we'll give it a while to start hashing, I'll move to the front. And you can see, yep, pretty damn loud. Uh, this is LK Tax One. It's not on yet, but just so they can see the front. Okay, so this is basically the noise level throughout, and yeah, it doesn't actually get any better even once it starts hashing. Uh, I'm gonna turn that off now. Oh, it hasn't, hasn't started hashing quite yet. Yeah, you can see those are red lights. Uh, while that happens, I'm gonna power this up. Um, which one is it? Now, when this one powers up, it's a lot quieter. Uh, but it does get louder once the hashing starts. But this one's pretty loud from the get-go. Yeah, now it's hashing and you can see that the noise level has been changed. I'm just going to turn this off so we can hear LT tanks. Okay, so now it's pretty quiet. Um, wait till it starts hashing. But it's going to still be a lot quieter. And it has started hashing. And you can hear the fans kicking in. It's alright, it's still pretty it's loud, but I don't actually have to shout over it. Okay, let's just go back to the Bitwing core so you can feel how loud it is. And remember, the sound didn't change from the power up. Yeah, pretty bad. Now, I also have uh, N minor S2s here, and I thought those were loud, but. In comparison, you can't really even hear it over the drone of the Bitwing call. So yeah, definitely not home friendly. Like I would say the N-S2 is not home friendly. But this one belongs somewhere else completely.